Hi, so we're going to start off with uh, communion tonight. So I'm going to have an Oreo here. Wow. All right, so I got a vision here. Um, now, at the end of October 2066, um, October 14th, Transnistria teams up with Bolivia and Kyrgyzstan, and they drop the world, okay, into Middle Earth, with the only peace on our firmament being America. Great zip lines of beaches divide the Neotech Middle Earth from America. The tech is perfectly in sync and streamlined. I saw flush rivets with things like wood carvings, everlasting materials. Middle Earth must be for 86,000, so they're revamped for a thousand. Now, switching back, one guy out of the crash. Before the complete 7.7 years, um, which happens after the crash. It's kind of the start of this uh, breaches, if you want to call it. The whatever is next, the next age, um, has a car shifter uh, mixed with a wooden compass and mixed with a sledgehammer that comes out of his hair, making up all hair on his body. Okay, so he doesn't have any hair when he's using this material. And he can never lose it or destroy it or have it stolen. He makes indestructible escape capsules like Oblivion film. Uh, but they are works of art and can play music like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum in Ohio. Where if you go up to a little section, you can press a button and music will play. Uh, they will be sent to Hawaii and Australia for museums on display in great recreational uh, lounge and workout facilities where everyone is on safe, blood-enhancing hallucinogens, blood-expanding hallucinogens, blood vessel. Um, this, is the, this is for mentally ill as well to cure them and give them social environments uh, with the Freemason bro culture, that's an offshoot of how it's supposed to be. Um, they're they're the reaction of the evil side to, to they do it in an evil sense, uh, having been defeated by the peg leg case uh, Edgar Casey and this guy who is as Chucky film the doll in the dungeon with. Also, a scary lion form. Now, I saw this as he will actually be scary looking. And they will beat him up as, as he is scary looking. Animal form like an animal that is actually scary. And looking like a movie villain that would make you jump for real. Um, now, I kind of saw it as well as... It's almost like a trap, like um, like Rorschach from Watchmen. Um, so now the kookaburras are assigned a capsule and live through the drop. So, and they don't fight over the capsules. It's just whoever is chosen goes into the capsule and lives through the drop. They they softly go down or something they 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 softly drop you know but but i did see the world drop um so um now uh today is a special day um that today the the strongs was uh 2551 okay chemla so, and what that means is compassion. Um, here, right here. 
compassion or mercy. Um, that's what Chemla means. Now, when you go to this, um, this, this is a, um, when you, when you go to this here, Genesis 1916 is where it's at. So I went to it and I have to go to KJV. Um, then I went to the KJV. Okay, and then I then I scroll down through this. It's about Lot and the angels. And Lot flees to Zoar, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. And right here, Lot's wife looks back, and she became a pillar of salt. So the actual wording here is um, uh, that, that the Lord had mercy. Okay, that is the actual compassion there. That the, the Lord had mercy on Lot and his daughters and his wife. And then Lot's wife looks back um, and becomes a pillar of salt. Now, this is nothing against anyone. This played out today in my life. Me. Um, and what it was, uh, Jim Caviezel, he kneeled on this day. He kneeled today. Uh, whenever he went through the deal. And... Uh, this means that he's a that he was as the pillar of salt, Jim Caviezel, Jim the salt, Caviezel. Okay, so um, also on this day, mixed in with some Freemason stars and everything, that he had the M, and that he that that, that he kneeled on this day, sort of thing, uh, is Mickey Rourke as well. So we'll watch this and end it with this. Uh, I could be wrong about this, but this is the way I see it. And it, you know, uh, this came to me today and whether it correlates or not, I, I did want to show this. And um, because this could have been Mickey Rourke as the pillar of salt, showing his compassion as well. It'll be 